Ten years ago, Sister Miao far came to Bodhi due to her daughter's atopic dermatitis. She has often served at the center these years, during which she changed to a faithful Buddhist from an atheist. One night, I was too tired and quickly fell asleep. I felt that not long after I fell asleep, a white-haired senior appeared at my bed. He was very close and looking at me. I was wondering, who are you? Why are you here? There appeared three words, Lin Qingyuan. Seeing them, I was scared, screamed, woke up and hurried to tell my husband. I described his look to my husband and told him the name I saw. My husband was very surprised. That was his dad's name. His dad is my father-in-law who passed many years ago before we got married. So I didn't know him and his name. The next day, I told my mother-in-law about it. She said she had never dreamt about my father-in-law all these years. Why did he come to his daughter-in-law he had never met? So we were all wondering why. This had been staying in my mind. Later I got it. I've been volunteering at the center. I should offer light for him. So, I went to the center and offered a light for him to be released to the Pure Land. Since then, I'd offer light for him at Kingming and Ulambana festivals. When chanting at the center, I'd chant and pray for him. In Taiwan, all kinds of religions exist. I'm a person who studied science. Without evidence, I actually didn't believe these things. But that time in my dream, my father-in-law was so real. Later I had an opportunity to see my father-in-law's photo at my mother-in-law's. He looked the same as the person I saw in my dream. Recalling it, actually at that moment I was very scared, as I saw an unknown person before me. However, after that, I was very happy. As my father-in-law had passed for so many years, I haven't helped him with anything. He had a need now. If I could offer lights for him to show my filial piety, I felt very happy. Offering lights for her past father-in-law brought me out far bliss. Another experience let her realize every being needs merits and blessings. Praying sessions and chanting are often held at the center. Once I went to the Guanyin Hall of the Taipei Center, joining a chanting session. Actually, after a while, I felt I entered another realm seeing a pack of lovely puppies. Scores of them gathering together. These puppies were often seen and raised like poodles, Maltese, and Pomeranians. They were sitting together, about 30 or 40. It seemed I have met them before. These dogs have a common feature. All having signs of receiving medical treatments. Some dogs wore casts on their feet to stop them from licking their wound. Some dogs wore a cone, others wore a collar. Each had signs of being treated. I couldn't talk with them, but each pair of eyes was entreating me. After seeing this clearly, I suddenly woke up. This scene also stayed in my mind. How come a pack of dogs came to me? Later I remembered my parents run an animal hospital where many pets are treated. These dogs had seen me once. As dogs' lifespan is short, these dogs should have passed. They gathered together in the Taipei Center so that I could see them. 
feeling they were pitiful. I offered lights for them to send them to the pure land on behalf of the animal hospital. At that moment, I realized even dogs need light offerings. These experiences of mine are really vivid. Thus, I realized that before Buddha, all creatures are equal. Both humans and other creatures deserve living. I help them as much as I can.